Well, well, I have quite an awesome husband, and he had an interesting night out on the town with the men on my marriage list. Brent was really hot in bed this morning. I think I got him all fired up. <laughs> you know that Brent's always been a leader for the rest of the men. Well, today he called the core group of men up and said, we need to do something we haven't done in a long time. And they were all curious. And then Brent said, guys night out. Guys night out is a time where all the men go out on the town and have fun as a team. All the men that are devoted to me, all the men on the marriage list, they used to regularly go out on the town, watch movies, eat at restaurants, go to bars, and smoke organic cigars. And Zach was telling me that over time it kind of stopped. Everything got too busy and they'd, they'd always get attacked by Jesuits. So, when Brent suggested it, the other men were excited to do it again. But they knew, <coughs> they knew it might be a risky thing for all of them to go outside and explore new places. <coughs> the Jesuits don't like me making this video. They're making me cough with their mites. Brent assured them that as their leader, he was sure the Gale Shield would support them if they were open to good experiences. So they went out and had a blast. They visited an art exhibit, <coughs> walked openly down the street in plain view of the public, went to a movie. None of the new ones are as good as when the men were the main stars of the movies. <coughs> they ate at a restaurant. <coughs> That's the mites. The, they don't like this video I'm making. <coughs> and then headed to a bar. They were in New York. People were shocked to see a group of celebrities walking down the street in public. It was a blast. So they walked into a bar with this younger guy crowd. And these guys all seemed like frat boys. They were, so they were, the, my men were drinking and laughing, smoking their cigars. And Brent and Matthew were only a little tipsy still, just having fun. But Brent and Matthew bumped into one of the main frat brothers. And he shoved Brent and Matthew and called Brent and Matthew a couple of washed up old hags. Brent turned to Matthew and signaled to the other men to remain calm. He told Matthew that he thinks these were Jesuit frat brothers. And he pointed to their jackets that indicated they attended a Jesuit school. Brent said, you know what? We don't want any trouble. We just want peaceful vibes and to enjoy life and seek love. So Brent and Matthew turned to walk away and the frat brother said, yeah, I'd keep walking too if I was married to that bitch Gail. Brent stopped mid stride. What did you just say, he asked. The frat brother puffed out his chest and said, I said, I'd keep walking too if I was in an instant. Brent clenched his fist and was transformed into his android form. In the same instant, Brent was standing where the frat brother was. Brent was right there in an upper cut punch pose surrounded by red vapor. We quickly realized that the red vapor was blood mist. Brent had punched, punched that Jesuit with an uppercut so powerful there was only the blood mist from the impact and the body shaped hole in the roof of the bar. Then Brent calmly and confidently declared, anyone else have anything to say about my wife? All the Jesuit frat brothers in the bar averted their gaze and looked scared. And with that, Brent walked back to the men and returned to his regular form. And what's really neat to note is that over time his Mechagale suit has started to adapt to match Brent more. <clears throat> it looks more like data from Star Trek when he's in Mecha form. So they all cheered for Brent. They were so proud of him. Now this doesn't surprise me about Brent because 
I know that he would literally die for me. I have the best husband in the world. And he is about as macho as they come. <laughs> I don't know how anybody could get away with calling him a cuck. He is the total opposite of a cuck. <laughs> so they all walked away like scared little bitches. And then my men continued to drink in the Jesuit bar. <laughs> <laughs> so Brett looked like Data with his with his white face and gold eyes, instead of what you know he used to look like the Gale Android, he, and he even has the Starfleet uniform. So the Mecha Gale suit has been adapting with Brent's body, and they use the uh, actually the Star Trek. I mean the uh, Church of Gale ship looks like the Star Trek: The Next Generation Enterprise from the early 1990s. And they used the same Starfleet uniform that you see on the Star Trek The Next Generation show <laughs> uh, on Church of Gale, and he was wearing it in his Mecha form, so he looked just like Data. So, you guys, that was the interesting night out. And um, it doesn't surprise me to hear that about Brent. <laughs> He's, I have the best husband in the world, I mean, I I actually don't need him beating up people over insulting me, but I I understand who he is, okay? And he's he's absolutely devoted to me. So I, I never have to worry about him. And I'm glad he doesn't have to worry about me. So anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. They had an interesting night on the town. <laughs> I just want to thank my awesome Patreon supporters for all of their support and we have a great time hanging out every Friday night and we are all going to focus on meditating, living in the moment, and enjoying our lives and we'll just have great fun Friday nights focusing on that.